Here we go, guys, in three, two, one. And Dr. Cole, next topic, our next guest, Patrick Pauley from Athletico. He is the head athletic trainer for the Chicago Dogs professional baseball team, as well as the Midwest Orthopedics at Rush Sports Performance Center, which I'm getting uh, hearing rave reviews. It's awesome there. Yeah. In, at, uh, I'm going to start Oprah. there myself. Yeah. So Steve's a little over two weeks. I, I can share. We've been online. We actually took your stitches out online, so it's okay now. No, yes. hi, no HIPAA violation. Well, live right? on the radio. Yeah. yeah last week. Okay. So, uh, yes, you're going to do your physical therapy there. It's a beautiful facility on York Road in Oak Brook. Uh, it's, it's a large space, big windows. The therapists are wonderful. They're just It's a happy environment to do your rehab. It's, like the, it's the best health club environment for physical therapy you'll, you've probably seen. Uh, so you'll love it there. I can't wait for you to go. Yeah, people have told me about it. I've gone past it, and it's it looks amazing. It's just so really I'm, I'm excited pretty, yeah, to do not, the yeah, therapy just, there. I really am. You will. Well, let's bring on Patrick. And, uh, Patrick, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the Chicago Dogs professional baseball team. They had their first year in that beautiful ballpark in Rosemont. Um, how did it go year number one? Uh, year number one was a lot of fun. We, we got off to a little bit of a slow start, but... Uh, made some personnel changes along the way and got more comfortable with the team. And uh, we always said if we had like another month of the season, we would have uh, definitely uh, been a threat in the playoffs for sure. Yeah. Patrick was great to work. He's a, you were a pitching coach at one point. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah. I was a pitching coach uh, in high school for uh, seven years. Yeah. So he's got an amazing baseball IQ. Uh, Greg Nichols and I were the team physicians for the uh, Chicago dogs. And, you know, fortunately we only had a couple of injuries, but a lot of players come through it, you know, and just to get st- stability, but your knowledge is amazing, and your baseball IQ is amazing. So I've I've learned a lot from you, and uh, I just I appreciate it. You know, one of the things we wanted to bring up today um, uh, this this morning was: Would you be able to just go over with us and our listeners the sort of the easiest thing for an athlete to prevent uh, overarm throwing injuries, overhead injuries? Yeah, sure. So you know, we know the majority of uh, throwing related injuries are chronic or overuse injuries. So the easiest thing or the thing that's going to require the least amount of physical effort is to make sure that you're not throwing too much. You know, we need to make sure that our throwers are getting appropriate rest uh, and recovery. And, you know, USA Baseball and Major League Baseball combined to develop the Pitch Smart Initiative, which offers pitch count and rest recommendations for all ages. It's a great resource. And then in addition to recovering between throwing sessions, it's also really important to recover after the season. You want to take like two or three months off from throwing, the uh, American Sports Medicine Institute found that pitchers who compete more than eight months out of the year were five times uh, as likely to suffer an injury that required surgery. So that rest between starts and rest after the the, um, the season is really important. That's interesting. I actually didn't know. I, I'm always going on the the fact of ten months for a single sport. So they showed specific to pitchers that it was eight months or more not taking a break. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, That's competitively. Yeah, very interesting. Visiting with Patrick Pauley from Athletico and head athletic trainer with the Chicago Dogs professional baseball team. I'm Steve Cashel, Dr. Brian Cole at Sports Medicine Weekly. Give us some ways then, Patrick, to prepare the body for overarm uh, throwing in order to prevent injury. Yeah, so a comprehensive strength and conditioning program is vital for any kind of sports performance and injury prevention, particularly in throwing. Obviously, throwers want to strengthen the muscles of the arm like the rotator cuff. But we also have to make sure that we're strengthening the entire body. Throwing is about the transfer of force, basically from the lead foot up through the kinetic chain, the legs, the hips, the core, the back, all the way through to the other uh, opposite hand. And weakness anywhere in the chain is going to force any other part of the body to work harder, like the shoulder or the elbow. And because the throwing motion is so dynamic, changes uh, in the timing of the kinetic chain due to that weaknesses can increase the load on the joints. So any training is going to need to incorporate uh, balance and stability as well as range of motion. And we also know that pitching while fatigue can increase your risk of injury, so it's important to work on your aerobic capacity as well as your strength and your balance and your, and your range of motion. How does video analysis, Patrick, uh, help with overarm throwing? Yeah, Patrick, when you answer that, maybe share a little bit about what we put in a rope at uh, the Oak Brook facility. And I just want to make it known that, Steve, you, know, you mentioned I'm going to go to an athletic letical facility out by you. All of our physical therapists are athletico trained. Okay. Yeah, and our trainers. So I'm curious, Patrick, when you look at the video analysis uh, setup we have there, uh, what are you doing and uh, how is it working with our athletes? Yeah, so, you know, proper rest and recovery and appropriate strength and conditioning programs are integral for performance and injury prevention. But if you're not using the proper mechanics, there's a really good chance you're going to get eventually get injured anyway. The good news is that there's a lot of options out there for the throwing mechanics, whether it's 
using an app on your phone, or we've got you know video throwing analysis at our athletic clinics, as well as as you mentioned the Midwest Orthopedics at Rush uh, Sports Performance in Oak Brook. Um, so if we come in for a thrower's functional sport assessment, uh, we'll, we'll do the video throwing analysis, and we'll look at the entire chain. But a big part of that as well is that we're going to look at your range of motion and your hips and your uh, thoracic rotation and your shoulders and some different strength testings because, you know, you can look at the video analysis and say, oh, well, you need to do this. You need to, you need to get your foot over here. But there could be some physical limitations as to why you're not getting into that position. So the nice thing about that, um, that, that the Sports Performance Center is that we also offer these follow-up sessions where we're going to target, you get one-on-one with myself or Dave, um, we're going to target any limitations that we're going to find there um, and work on those for your strength and your range of motion. Great stuff, Patrick, out of time. Appreciate it. And again, visiting with Athletico's Patrick Pauly, head athletic trainer for the Chicago Dogs baseball team, as well as Midwest Orson as well as Midwest Orthopedics at Rush New Sports Performance Center. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Coming up next on Sports Medicine Weekly, the staple of the show, Ask the Doctor. You get a chance to ask Dr. Cole a question. We'll tell you how to do it after this on Sports Medicine Weekly, only on 670 The Score.